Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn to change the value of variables that you previously created. So what I've done is I've made a little program here where I can keep track of player points and I can also keep track of player life Okay, for some sort of little game. I'm going to go to the source code here. There's a variable that I've made. Integer point starts at 0. Integer life starts at 5. In the constructor, I show them into the text boxes using the set text command and now what I want to do is when I press the buttons like give five points I want to give them five points so let's go for it let's double click the button it takes us down to the button give points action code and inside of this method I'm gonna make the points go up by five now to change points and just make it go up you can use three different or sorry two different lines here's one of them points is points plus five that's it. It basically says, hey, set the points variable equal to whatever the points currently is plus another five. And that's it. So that's how you add, or you could minus, or you could multiply, or you could divide. Okay, but of course we're just doing the plus. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind here, even though I'm currently showing the points inside this box, just because you change the points variable, doesn't mean you're going to see the change. If you want to see the change, you actually have to make that a command that you do. So text points, set the text, and show the points variable in there. So often when you're coding on your frame, if you change a value that you're showing to the user, you also have to then follow up with a line underneath that puts it back in the box again because it has a new value. This is really like a draw command. Okay, let's give this a go here. Java frame one. Give it a quick run here. And not that you doubt it won't work, but whoops. You'll see here, give points. And it keeps going up every time I click it. And that's really all there is to that one. Now I'd said that there was two ways to do it. I'm gonna comment that line out with the slash slash. Here's another way. You can also write it like this. Okay, this is just the shorter version of the line above that I had working. Points plus equals five just means points equals points plus five so I don't care which one you use use this one use this one they're both gonna work and they both make the points go up now one other thing I'll show you here is I'm gonna show you one last little command here lose life okay it's gonna take the life down I'll double click you'll see here I had a variable called life as five Let's say I want to go down by one every time. So I'm going to go to the lose life code. And I'm going to do something very similar here. So here's what I could do. I could say life equals life minus one. Text life set text. Lives left. Life. Okay. And if it works, I'll just test it out. And there it pops up, and as expected, every time I click, the lives goes down. No, I've done nothing here. It's just going to keep going down and down and down and down and down. The last thing in this video I'm going to show you is the short version of this. So instead of life equals life minus 1, I could have also gone life minus equals 1. Okay, that'll also work. So really quickly, just show you that one. And it still works. And then there's also one last one. When you're only making changes of one, which is very popular in coding, you can do this, life minus minus. Okay, it will drop life down by one. And so that's a short form. Sorry, short form. You can choose any of these here. They all work the same. As long as you get one working, I'm happy and you'll be happy. Um, in addition to life minus minus, you can also do life plus plus. Okay, increases by one. So that's the basics on making variables change, uh, go up and down. And remember that you also have to show them in the box after if that's what you're doing with them. Thanks for watching.